A very warm welcome from my side. My name is Sophie de Latauer. I'm the CEO of the Gudrun Group, and I'm a true chocolate lover since I've started my professional career in 2004. And I see already people counting how old I am, but I'm still very young, as you will uh, imagine. <laughs> Good. Um, I feel honored to have you here amongst us today, and uh, definitely a big thanks to all of you to come over uh, to listen to our story, and uh, especially here at this location, Estivo, a former bicycle workshop. And you will understand later today why this is the perfect place for today's event to tell you more what we've been up to the last year. I hope you're sitting comfortably, feeling at ease. If not, I promise some chocolates later on to make it all up to you. So you see the chef already sitting over there. As already Arnaud mentioned, uh, there will be some interaction. I love interaction, basically. And you have received on your seats two cards. These are cacao fruits. You have a green one and a purple one. And we will use them while asking you some questions. So if I ask you a question and you are fully with me, you show me the green cacao fruit. If you fully disagree, you put a purple. And if you don't have an answer, yeah, then I do not know how to interpret this. But let's do maybe a little test. Who has heard about cacao fruit before this event? You show me the green one. If not, you show me the purple one. Oh my God, we have an extremely good audience today. Good, then I will ask them a more difficult question, and I will definitely look at this side now. Um, what do you prefer the most? Chocolates being pralines or truffles? And if you don't know what to choose, you can choose both, and if you don't like it either, you also don't show anything. Otherwise, you need to leave the room, and if you don't show anything, Okay, interesting. So leave the cards with you. We will use them further on, maybe also with the guest speakers. I already told them they can use it as well. This trick. Good. Now, let me introduce you um, what Goodwin is all about. Since 1942, so last year we've celebrated our 80 years, our 80 years of existence. So since 1942, we are really known as a premium private label manufacturer of Belgian chocolates. And with Belgian chocolates, I mean praline and truffles. Although we are making around 4,000 tons of chocolates every year, and we export really overseas a lot, we still make our exquisite fillings in-house, in our own kitchen, inside our factory. And you can really say that our kitchen in our factory is the beating heart. So are the fillings of our chocolates. So I have a next question for you, ladies and gentlemen, who has ever visited our kitchen inside the factory. I'm not uh, say, saying the Gerald's kitchen at the reception. So green, if you see in the kitchen, and purple if not. Still a big opportunity for some visitors, that's, that's for sure. OK, thank you for answering this. Good. Now, um, we offer a lot of assortment boxes, eh? um, and if you look, to what we are doing, the Christmas season is our biggest season, although we see that other celebration moments are gaining momentum. And we have a sister company in Poland, which is called Chocolissimo, and together with them, the taste of special moments is really at the heart of our business. So you can say we love personalization. From ID to execution, our company, our group, is taking things very personally. So you can say that both in terms of personal engagement, so this is part of the, uh, my colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, but also in terms of the customer journey, uh, that's really what it's all about, taking it very personally. And that's also why gifting is really in our DNA. That's why we're always saying we're creating moments of indulgence. We really want to maximize the pleasure of sharing. Mentioning sharing, another question. Who likes to share his or her box of chocolate? But who doesn't? That's just for me, myself and I. <laughs> okay, so for the ones having a purple cap boss, so watch out, ladies and gentlemen, because you will have no chocolates later today if they're very into that. Okay, good. Our group has a strong focus on people from 
supplier uh, to customer, we really believe that the people are our most valuable assets. And of course, chocolate is the perfect ingredient to make some connection because chocolates make feel uh, people happier ever before. On top of that, we take important steps as a group uh, to deal with today's societal and environmental challenges. Last year, we've signed the Charter Beyond Chocolate, and that's an initiative in Belgium that unites several chocolate players, so also competitors, to really move towards a more sustainable Belgian chocolate industry. Um, for instance, you have child labor, you have deforestation, you have a fair income for the cocoa farmers. These are, for instance, three important topics that are tackled and that will be tackled for the upcoming years. So you can say also inside the Gudrun Group, we embrace sustainability. Our product is, of course, key because we all love chocolate. We love our people, but also our planet is key. And that's why we really need to take care of our planet. So how can we all support our stakeholders to go for a better world and a better planet? Now, having said that, I do believe as a CEO, you should take your own responsibility uh, when it comes uh, in terms of sustainability. And for this reason, I'm part of an internal work group, a sustainability working group, which is called Goed Groen. If you pronounce it in, in the Antwerp accent, it's Goed Groen. But it stands for good, for green, and for Gudrun, because we really want to pave the way towards a more sustainable and a greener Gudrun. Now, of course, that's not an easy one, and that's why I have colleagues from different departments who are joining me on that mission to go for a more sustainable company. Um, of course, together, you need to have a kind of an action plan together, and together with them, we really worked with the United Nations Sustainability Development Goals, or SDG, SDGs as guiding principles. So I have again a question for you. Who has ever heard about SDGs, then you show me the green cabos. If not, you show me the purple one. Okay, the one with the purple cabos have now a good reason to shut up because the green ones can now sh uh, tell me what the 17 goals are all about. <laughs> but that will take me, of course, too much time, right? Good, but if most of you know it, these are the 17 SDG goals, and that's for us really uh, a common language. If we look globally, a lot of companies and a lot of also uh, organizations are talking about these SDGs as guiding principles when they act and when they talk about sustainability. I've even seen our uh, Queen Matilde even standing uh, uh, in front of these SDGs. So you see it everywhere, basically. So. Initially at Gudrun, at Good Groen, eh, we didn't know where to start. And after a while, we said, let's contact, let's contact VOCA. And VOCA, for the ones who do not know it, is a kind of Flemish entrepreneurial network. It's the Chamber of Commerce. And they really helped us with telling us what we should do towards the future. So they helped us with defining an action plan, what we should do. Now, when talking with them, we realized that we already took quite some initiatives naturally, eh? and that the future ambitions were really in line with what these SDGs are standing for. And they said, look, if you have your action plan and you go for this, in one year time, instead of three years time, you will obtain the SDG pioneer status. So of course, that was a great motivation for the team to really work by end of 2024, we are going for that status. But of course, the VOCA Commission uh, has to assess this first. Um, again, these initiatives we already took, the last, the last years, uh, have been really seen as high contributors to the SDGs uh, values. And I'm very proud, of course, that we have this a bit you know, inside our genes. So our people agenda, the focus on our waste streams, but also the procurement ac activities, uh, like in terms of the cacao we are buying, but also the paper we are buying, they're also linked to sustainable sourcing. Good. Today, I already said I'm not going to talk about 17 SDGs, but if you really want to remember something about these 17 SDGs, you can cluster them in five groups. And these five words are all starting with the letter P. P from planet, from people, from prosperity, peace, and partnership. And again, these words do not need a lot of explanation, I believe, but I've been picking out three of them for today. 
First of all, prosperity. Because I do believe that innovation is key to stay relevant, also when you talk sustainability. Secondly, planet. Because we all need to go for more responsible sourcing, but also responsible consumption. Thirdly, partnership. Because again, I cannot do it alone. We need to bring the message together. Because as I already said, also Gudrun is a premium private label partner. Again, if the people, the next in the value chains are, are saying something else, it's of course difficult to achieve that mission. And the same goes for our suppliers who are in the room. They also want us to be part of that movement. So, if we want to bring the message together, I need to have people, and that's also the reason why we've invited many stakeholders today. We have a plan, which we will do together with FOCA on the action plan. We love innovation, isn't it, Gerald? We embrace sustainability, and of course, we like chocolates. We like the taste of great chocolates. So, this sounds like a perfect recipe for today, and I want every one of you and every colleague, supplier, every friend, every family member, I want everybody to be on board on this mission. Because again, I do believe that if we join forces, we create an impact. Thank you very much. 